Hey fam, what's up? Rad Dad Cooks here. Today, we're gonna be making some bodacious burritos, Americano style, talking pulled pork burritos. Come on, let's get cracking. All right, the first and most obvious ingredient you're gonna need is pulled pork, all right? Now, I'm assuming you're gonna fit into one of three categories. You either have some pulled pork leftovers, you've watched the Rad Dad video on making amazing pulled pork in your crock pot, or you already have a kick-ass pulled pork recipe that you're making. So I will not spend time on this video showing you how to make pulled pork. Let's get to the rest of the fillings. We got some coleslaw. We're just going straight out of the bag. It's a coleslaw kit. Everything's all together. Mix it up per the directions. Now our sauce, we are making from scratch. We got two tablespoons mayo, one tablespoon mustard, one tablespoon of these chipotle peppers. These ones are diced, so they're a little bit easier to mix in. If not, you might have to hit them with the Nutribullet. Then we're gonna go a half cup of your favorite barbecue sauce or whatever you got laying around the fridge. It could be the ass under three bottles for all I care. Whisk it all together, and we're gonna go ahead and sweeten it. Just a little bit, about two teaspoons. This is a gobba nectar. You could use honey or anything that stirs in. Give it a taste. You definitely don't wanna overdo the sweet. If it needs a little more, add it, but you definitely want those chipotle peppers to ring through. All right, get that big tort, the biggest one you can get. Give it about 10, 15 seconds in the micro to get it nice and pliable. We're gonna start off with one of those sandwich stacker style pickles. Four and a half ounces of that Rad Dad Cooks crock pot pulled pork. Now we're gonna generously drape that sauce all over it. About an ounce of cheese, a little more if you like. Put some thin slices of red onion on there. If red's too uh, strong for you, you could dial it back to some sweet. Last, some slaw. I love slaw, so I go hard in the tort on that slaw. Now we're gonna fold it up. Start off by flipping one side over, tucking in left and right like an envelope, forming it to your hand as you roll it forward. And of course, any Rad Dad burrito is not complete unless you toast it up in your lodge pan. I didn't start doing this till a couple years ago, but I was like, damn, if you don't toast it, it's, it's just a wrap, it's not a burrito. About a minute on all four sides. There we go, that bad boy's ready to eat. Wrap it in some foil, take it to work. Gobble that one up while you're toasting the next one. Mommy likes some cut like this in the diagonal. Makes that first bite very dynamic. Well, thank you very much for coming by, guys. I hope that you totally, totally enjoy this idea. This is a great way to get rid of your barbecue leftovers, whether it's homemade or takeout. You can just let your creative juices get flowing and come up with all kinds of combinations. What would you guys do differently? Would you get rid of that slaw and throw some mac and cheese in there? I think it'd be awesome if I had some of that uh, Cracker Barrel potato casserole. That'd be dope. Well, hey, let me know down in the comments what you guys have created in your kitchen. Thank you very much for coming by. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe and ding that notification bell on the way out. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.